Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. This is David with TechFront.net for Tuesday. Microsoft is making some big moves as the 2022 physical year for them gets started, and they're jumping right into making Xbox and gaming a big focus. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there that are saying, hey, I can't even buy the console yet. The console is not fully on the shelf. Hey, I feel ya. I feel ya. We're, we're, we're coming up on a year since those have been in actual production. And I know everybody wants to blame the pandemic and the shortage of chips and the shortage of, you know, Ethernet ports I've heard is an issue. And, you know, we, we, we've got to do something here. You know, Microsoft is forging forward with the content. We got Flight Simulator coming for the new Xbox, which I'm personally excited to see. Um, and Microsoft says they want to better embrace developers, content creators. And, you know, we don't know how they're going to do that yet. We know that they tried Mixer. We see where that went. We know that they have acquired various game studios. We see how that's gone. That's gone fairly well. We know that there were at least talks earlier this year about Microsoft acquiring Discord or having some sort of partnership with Discord. We know that didn't occur. So, with that said, what does Microsoft do here? Gaming is bigger than it's ever been. You know, we've got Twitch, we've got YouTube, you know, and we've got Streamlabs making it easier. We've got Stream Elements, we've got OBS, and, you know, capture setups and streaming setups are almost becoming like small studios. You know, people are investing big money in lighting and gadgets and mixers and stream decks. You know, the Blackmagic capture devices. You know, what used to be a professional world has now slid its way down to the consumer. You know, people are making a lot of money on YouTube. People are making good money on Twitch. You know. I, I was told Mixer, you know, for what it was, paid reasonably well. So what does Microsoft do? Well, if you ask me, the Battle Royale games are here. Warzone, you know, we've got PUBG. You know, we've had a Battlefield now with a version of Battle Royale type gameplay in it. We've got Apex Legends that's out there with this similar style of gameplay. You know, we've all gone to a Battle Royale type of play, and that's popular. That's easy to develop. You know, you add content to it. You add game modes to it. You know, we have these things called season passes and, you know, the, the game companies have done a great job of, you know, dividing it up into season one, season two, season three, season four throughout the year, which is cool, in my opinion, gives everybody a good restart. You know, we've got eSports out there that is bigger than ever. So what does Microsoft do? Well... I'm going to throw it out there. Some of the bigger streamers out there, and there was one recently that moved from Twitch to YouTube, uh, Alpha Gaming, I follow Harris regularly. I watch what Harris puts out, and I agree with what Harris says. Let me get that out there. I'm not going to be someone that attacks another streamer. That's not going to happen here. And I'm not going to downplay another streamer. That's not going to happen here. I'm one that is big on open creativity. Each person does what they want. We all have different ideas, different approaches, 
different ways of you know seeing things and doing things I'm a fan of that but what Harris had mentioned in some of his videos earlier was you know how twitch lacks in some functionality you know he decided to take a pay cut and go from twitch to YouTube and he talked about how YouTube's features are far beyond in some ways what Twitch can offer and how he had had meetings with people inside of Twitch and had made suggestions a couple of years ago that still have not been implemented. So with Microsoft's talk, having used Twitch myself, having used Mixer when Mixer was a thing, I've used Facebook gaming, I've used YouTube gaming. We have average streaming platforms. They could be better, they could be easier to use. In most cases, you have to have a PC, a reasonably powerful PC. It's not often that a $500 PC is going to stream for you. So that makes me think, you know, you have to invest in a capture card. In most cases, you want a webcam so people can see your face. In most cases, you need some sort of microphone or headset. And then, you know, you've got your hardware for streaming and encoding. So why doesn't Microsoft make an investment into Twitch, whether they acquire Twitch or not, who knows? and build the tools that make streaming native for not only Xbox gamers, but PC gamers as well. To me, that makes sense. That seems like a good idea because Microsoft seems to struggle when it comes to building communities they didn't get off the ground well with Mixer and it showed. Mixer didn't make it. Well, Twitch is already a good community. Microsoft has the integration abilities to make it easier for Xbox, maybe streaming natively on the Xbox Series X and Series S and streaming natively in the um, Game Pass app. You know, or, you know, easier to stream for those that don't Game Pass, for those that play Warzone Warfare and non-Microsoft titles. You know, imagine what that would be like. You know, not having to go third party for streaming. I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe not having to have the high-end PC to game and stream. That would be cool. Maybe there's some sort of integration there to be had. I think Windows 11 may open the door to that. Do we get it? Who knows? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't think Microsoft has any desire to rebuild a streaming service. I think they have realized that acquiring something that is already made and taking the following that it already has, such as the buying of Bethesda games that they did several months ago, makes sense. I think that's what they're doing. I think that's what they should do. You know. I think Microsoft is going to have to get back into the streaming gaming community perspective. Hey, am I wrong? Am I crazy? That's, that's probably true. What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear them. Should Microsoft get back in the game streaming community? If so, what should they do? For those of you that continue to watch these videos and subscribe to the channel, we greatly appreciate you. Much appreciated. We've seen good channel growth here lately. Thank you. And uh, let me know what you think of 
maybe Microsoft should go streaming again. Leave me a comment down below. I'll make sure to check it out. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.